A joint variation is a direct variation in which one variable varies as a product of two or more variables. To know further, let us look at this video. What is the relation between three or more variables for a given joint variation? Y varies directly as S and Y varies directly as Z. Normally, we will write like this. Y varies directly as S and also Y varies directly as Z. So, Y varies jointly as S and Z. That is, Y varies directly S and Z. So means we combine these two variations as one variation. So we call it as joint variation. So Y varies directly as S and Z. For example, one, the volume of rectangular box V varies directly as the length L with W and height H. So volume varies directly as length, volume varies directly as W and also volume varies directly as H. So the joint variation is V varies directly as L, W, H. When we write it in equation is V equal K, L, W, H. The volume of a cylinder V varies directly as square of radius r and the height h okay so we can write as volume varies directly as square of r and also varies directly as the height so what is the joint variation v varies directly as r square h and we can write in equation v equal k r square h example 2 write the relation using the symbol alpha and in equation form for each of the following a. P varies directly as Q and square root of R. So P varies directly as Q and square root of R. To write it in equation, still remember how to write it. P equals, you add the constant, K, Q, square root of R. B. Y varies directly as square of W and cube of S. Square of W is W power of 2. Cube of S is S power of 3. So Y varies directly as square of W and cube of S. Write in equation Y equal K W square S Q. C. The volume of prism V varies directly as the area of cross section A and its height H. So when we write in variation V varies directly as A H. Equation V equal K A H. D. The mass W of a cylindrical metal rod varies directly as the D. The mass 
W of a cylindrical metal rod varies directly as its length P and the square of diameter of its base D. Okay, so square of diameter means D square. So the variation is W varies directly as P and D square. The equation is W equal K P D square. Just now we learned already how to write the joint variation and write in equation. So now we try to answer this question. It is given that y varies directly as m and n and y equals 30 when m equals 2 and n equals 5. A. Express y in terms of m and n. Okay. So, we need to change the variation into equation. So, when you change the variation into equation, you add equals and add k. So, now you need to find the value of k first. So, to find the value of k, you need to substitute the value of y, the value of m, and the value of n. So, now we substitute all the value of y, m, and n into the equation. So y equals 30. Okay, we just copy down. M2 and n is equals 5. So 30 equals 10k. 10k equals 30. And k equals 30 divided by 10. K equals 3. So after you find the value of K, now you write the complete equation. You substitute the value of K into the equation and the other you just copy down. So Y equals 3 M N. B. Calculate the value of Y when m equals 3 and n equals 10. Okay, so now to find the another value of y, so you need to use this equation to find the value of y. Okay, so y equals 3mn, you substitute the value of m and n, you can find the value of y y equals 3 times 3 times 10. 3 times 3, 9. 9 times 10 is 90. So y equals 90. Now we look at example 4. The gravitational potential energy e of an object varies directly as its mass mkg and the gravitational acceleration g meter per second square. N is positioned at a height of h meter from the ground. Given that E equals 197 joules when M equals 4 kg, G equals 9.81 meter per second square and H equals 5 meter. Write an equation that relates E, M, G and H. Okay, first we need to write the variation. Okay, so we need to find the gravitational potential E. So you need to write E first varies directly as it mass mkg acceleration g meter per second square and its position at a height of h meter from the ground. Okay. So as usual, when you write the variation, you need to change it to equation to find the value of constant. OK, 
Okay, so E equals K M G H. Okay, now only we substitute the value of E, the value of M, G, and H to find the constant. When you find the constant, then only you can write the complete equation. Okay, so E equals 197. Okay, just copy down. M equals 4. So you put in bracket. G is 9.81 meter per second square. And H is 5. Okay. Okay, so K equals 197 over this one all multiply. So bring over here, it will become divide. Because opposite of multiply is divide. Okay, so over 4 times 9.81 times 5. So K equals one okay so now we write in equation e equals because k is one so you know if one as normally we will write as as only so same as one mgh we cannot write the final answer one mgh we need to write mgh only Okay, so E equals M G H. Example 5. Three quantities S, T and U vary as shown in the table on the right. It is given that S varies directly as T and the cube root of U. Calculate the value of S and Y. Okay, so as usual, to answer this type of question, first you need to write the variation. So S varies directly as T. So you write S varies directly as T. And the cube root of U. So cube root is like this. Right. Okay, so cube root of u. After you write the variation, you need to write in equations so that you can find the value of constant, right? So s equals k t cube root of u. Okay, so when you write it in equation, don't forget at the constant. Okay, still remember every time when we write the equation, we need to find the value of constant. To find the value of constant, you must have the complete value of S, T and U. Okay, so from the table, this column, you have the complete value of S, U, T and U. So you substitute all these three values into the equation. So S equals 6 equals K. You need to find the value of it. The value of T is 0 0.8. And cube root of U. The value of u is 27. 6 equals k times 0 0.8 times cube root of 27 is 3. So 6 equals 0 0.8 times 3. You can get 2.4 right so 2.4 k then now you find the value of constant 
Opposite of multiply is divide. K equals 6 over 2.4. So the value of K is 2.5. After you find the value of constant, write the complete equation. S equals two point five P cube root of U. K. So now only you can find the value of S by using this equation. So to find the value of S, you look at here. When S equals S, T equals 1.2, U equals 125. Write the equation again. I substitute the value of S the value of T is 1.2 and the value of U is 125 S equals 15. Okay, so now we need to find the value of Y. So you need to find the value of Y when T equals 40, S equals 50. Again, you use the complete equation of this. So normally, I will copy the equation first. S equals 2.5 T Q root of U. Then only I substitute all the value. Okay, S equals 50. 2.5. Just copy. The value of t is 40, so I put in bracket. The value of u is y, so cube root of y. Okay, so 2.5 times 40 is 100, so 50 equals 100 times cube root of y. Now, this value, I move over to the left hand side, so I can get Q root of y equals 50 over 100. 50 over 100 is 0 0.5. So Q root of y equals 0 0.5. Okay, still remember when you move over the Q group to another side it will become power so y equals 0 0.5 power of 3 final answer is y equals 0 0.125 thanks for watching i hope you understand what i taught today don't forget like and subscribe my channel. See you.